Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to explain you about args and quarks in Python. These two are very very important things guys from Python implementation, function implementation point of view. And what you need to understand is args work with positional arguments whereas quarks work with keyword argument. I am going to explain you with an example what is positional and keyword argument. Second thing is args work with tuple and quarks work with dict. When I say works with means works as in Python. Let me take you to Jupyter Notebook directly and show you how you can use args and quarks smartly in your functions and you can produce very good results. So let me go to my Jupyter Notebook guys and first thing I want you to understand is what is the meaning of positional argument and what is the meaning of a keyword argument. Okay. Let's say I write a function here defined calculate uh, def calculate fund value. Let's say I am a uh, I am a mutual fund investor and uh, there is an application in the platform I am installing and it calculates my total fund value. So it takes my different funds fund 1, fund 2 and what it does it just give me total value this function is equal to fund 1 okay plus fund 2 okay and it will just return me it will just return me this total value okay so now if aman as a customer has two different funds in one fund the value is 19 other fund the value is 89 the total fund value for aman is this if there is other customer whose fund value is let's say 76 in first fund and 97 in second fund the value is this much one thing to understand here is when you pass argument like this right then this way of passing argument is called positional argument so this is position 1 this is position 2 so python will understand whatever user is passing in first position is fund 1 value whatever is user is passing in second position is fund 2 value in the function definition if you write fund 3 then here one more argument you have to pass and it will calculate all this sum whatever you define in the function fund 3 it will calculate the value now comes the interesting part suppose suppose i do not a customer is there who has only two funds who does not has a third fund okay so this does not apply for that customer right remove this now run what happens error missing one required positional argument fund 3 fine what is the solution for that the solution for that is you can give a default value here you can give a default value like 0 so if user does not supply any value then take it as 0 now i run this and it calculates fine but the problem is I do not know how many default values I need to supply, right? There can be a customer with 5 funds, there can be another customer with maybe 50 funds, there can be third customer with 25 funds. I do not know in advance how many arguments I am going to get in this function. And that is where star args come very very handy. How you define this function guys? You come here and say, all these things you remove and you come here and say args, okay? total value will be sum of sum of args and return total value now you go to the same function call you go to the same function call and you say 10 one fund value somebody has two funds somebody has three funds somebody has let's say many funds seven eight funds whatever number of arguments you want to pass it will get summed up that is the magic of star args and remember it works with what kind of argument positional arguments now i will show you how python interprets args so i told you python args star args work with positional argument and it works as a tuple right so if you go here and print args right what you are going to see guys is you will see a tuple here so whatever argument you are passing when you have defined a function with star args 
python takes it as a tuple remember this okay this is about star arc so what it gives it gives you flexibility to define arguments in a you know flexible way how many ever you you do not know in advance how many arguments will come you just put dot star star args and do the operation now let me show you what is the meaning of a keyword argument guys okay let us take a simple example here define news okay news my news is my um, function so player player is equal to sachin okay runs is equal to let me make it as string only 100 now let's come inside the function and my str i'm just preparing a string is equal to player player right plus scored scored okay plus runs plus runs runs okay now let me call this function with some arguments so here if i call with default argument then what happens okay i have not returned anything here return my str okay there is some problem return is not defined okay t o r n return return such in scored 100 runs okay now i am calling without anything here so what it is doing it is taking the default values i have supplied here suppose i come here and i say rahul okay rahul scored 90 runs so what will happen these two sachin and 100 will get replaced by rahul and 90 in that order okay but suppose i want i i come here and say runs is equal to i want to override that 100 i will say 2 okay now let's run this sachin scored 2 runs so one important thing you note here guys previous example python was identifying the arguments as by position fund 1 value is 76 fund 2 value is 97 but here python is identifying arguments by keys so here what is the key runs okay sachin remains intact runs gets overwritten because you are giving runs here if you change player player is equal to let's say vvs vvs will override sachin because the ad arguments are being identified by keywords not the position this kind of argument is called keyword arguments now suppose same thing applies same funda applies this is a news function okay and i do not know how many arguments i will have so how to deal with that first of all let me show you if i pass here for example in place of let me copy it so that you can refer later also i do not want to hard code those values right i want to just write here star 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 keyword arguments okay star star quarks now i will call this function in a different way guys okay i will not call this function in the way i was calling before how i have to call this function is i have to go here and say whatever whatever arguments i want to pass right so for example player is equal to sachin goes here and runs is equal to 100 goes here okay but here i want to extract these things i want to extract these things so how do you extract these things is very very simple guys you go here and you say quarks okay quarks and you give here a quote so what you want to access you want to access the player from the quarks what else you want to access you want to access runs also so quarks and you give here one quote and then you close this okay now let me try running this such in scored 100 runs so how we are how we are parsing the argument guys exactly like a python dictionary that is what i told you in the beginning 
quarks work as in python dictionary and quark work with keyword arguments okay what is the usability guys the usability is suppose here i say place place is equal to mumbai okay place is equal to mumbai what i can do here is if i run this will it throw an error or will it not throw an error i don't think it will throw an error because we are not using that and that is the flexibility right that is the flexibility of quarks you can pass how many ever arguments you want here you come and say if if place okay place in quarks so what i am doing i am finding a key in the dictionary if place in quarks then my str i am going to overwrite my str my str plus sachin what is the output now sachin scored 100 runs now i want to add something here so i will say in okay and i will say plus and i will say i want to extract the place here so i will say uh, what is the place this okay place place okay so this is my new my str and then my str gets updated and then when i run this i get an output like this so if you give place then place gets printed if you don't give place then place does not get printed if you want to add another argument here you can pass that arguments stadium stadium is equal to one kde or dy patil whatever is your favorite one kde and here you can come here and you can give one more argument if that is there then change menus like that okay so what is the flexibility with arcs and quarks guys i gave you the fund example you do not know how many funds a person has use arcs okay how many ever funds it will get added you do not know what information about the news you have use quarks see if that argument is being passed if that is being passed use that in your program okay that is the beauty of these two things guys very very important things very very important for python functions maybe you are not realizing it if you, uh, uh, maybe if you are not used it very very powerful tools guys from this i'm sure you will not be having any doubt in arcs and quarks going forward okay you will see many other people code and you will see arcs and quarks there don't get confused nothing but flexibility to have as many as positional argument flexibility to have as many as keyword arguments okay if you have watched this video till now guys i want you to do a small assignment for me and paste that in the comment of this video write a python function write a python function to take a list and give first even number of the list as output so what you have to do is you have to take a python list and give me the first even number of that list whichever is the first whether it is at second position first position or 100th position okay do this paste me in the comments so that i know you guys are learning and you guys are interacting let me know what doubts you have in arcs and quarks i will definitely respond to you i will come with another interesting topic guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care